we're living in something called the Anthropocene era. This is the era where man-made risk meets natural risk. If you look at in this timeline here, you'll see we are here at the bottom right. We just got here. Look at that four and a half billion years of history. All of those things that came before us, they didn't have to worry about the intersection of man-made and natural risk. But we do now. And because humanity is in the middle of the two for the very first time, it started maybe around 1945, the, be the beginning of the post-war era. That's when this became an issue for us. And as each decade has gone on, it's become a more serious concern. What do we mean by that? Well, the atomic age, of course, urbanization, natural resource extraction, weather phenomena. Of course, many of these things existed before. Urbanization, cyclones, they've existed for many years. But the intensity, the severity, what they imply for us and the lasting impacts has changed a great deal and is a problem. So many of these risks that we're talking about now are not in our control. Think about it. Politically, right? Look what's going on in the global political landscape. It's being transformed as we speak, not simply because of the new Cold War, which is emerging, which is significant enough, and it remains to be seen whether, in fact, that's a new Cold War or not. But look at what's happening with international relations. The Philippines is getting into bed with China, and now Russia. Turkey is in bed with Russia. This is like a NATO ally since the 1940s. All of this stuff is happening at the same time. No one's anticipating it. Think about economically. Of course, China is rising. Emerging economies are rising. What does that mean for us here in North America? Right? How are we adapting? Think about societally with the migration problems that are happening, with the wealth gap that is having a significant impact on so many people in so many places. All of this stuff is happening at the same time, and it's really having a, a significant impact that none of us can really put our finger on. So this is our new normal. We don't think about it in those terms, but it's having a profound impact on everything that we do. And risk managers now need to be decision makers. Decision makers need to be risk managers. Risk managers should no longer be the ones sent out for biscuits when decisions are being made. They should be in the front lines at the boardroom helping make those decisions. So another core message we're saying in this book is you can't afford to have a conventional approach to risk management anymore. The stakes are just much too high.